Hi there, it's Eugene Emner. I am at the Sheen Center for Thought and Culture. We are at an exciting preview, celebrating the upcoming fall season. We have some extremely special and interesting guest interviews. So we'll be right back. We're back with the one and only superstar, Miss Vanessa Williams. How are you today? I'm very good, good to see you. You're beautiful as ever. Oh, <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be here with you, but more importantly, we're very excited that this is a preview to the, and the celebration of the upcoming fall season. We understand that you're hosting this evening. I'm hosting this evening, and I am a recent board member. So, oh, congratulations. Uh, besides uh, actually performing here a few years back, that's when I was first introduced to the Street Center, uh, Father Edward Beck did a great um, kind of talk back with music uh, called Broadway Bears Soul. Oh, yes. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, it was one, he's, he's a dear friend of mine and just a, a, a brilliant priest, but also a, an amazing human. So we got a chance to kind of talk about the past and the future and do it with song. And that's how I was introduced to the Sheen Center. And I was so hooked that I became a board member. And now I'm doing, uh, introducing the fall lineup, but I'm also teasing my, we're doing our first uh, gala this year. Oh, wow. And I am singing at it. So that's November 18th. Well, we love to hear you mm -hmm. sing. Is it going to be a little bit of all your different We're kicking styles? off the holiday or? season. Oh, so yeah, so it'll be, of course, my hits. And, and your amazing. Christmas albums. That's right. I think you have up to, what, three? Uh, I have two. two but I've got and then a collection, exactly. different collections. Yeah. I have all of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get them uh, for the Christmas season. But more importantly, if you're in New York City, you've got to check out her benefit on November 18th. But also visit their website at the Sheen Center because they have so many wonderful opportunities, projects, shows, everything from theater to film to music. It's unbelievable. Right. Really an untapped resource. It is. For arts and culture and in the I city. And I love the thought and the culture because it really goes down to more of that heart-centered place. And you can also hear debate and mm -hmm. people aren't angry. They're speaking their truth. Which is so and valuable. Which is thought-provoking. Right now. We don't have to argue and fight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I love something that you read on the website about for the good and the true and the beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need more than ever. And I think that's what you represent in your life. Yes. Well, thank you. Well, that's... Of course. We appreciate you. Thank you for all that you do. And thank everyone, you. please check out more about the Sheen Center and what's coming up. And Miss Vanessa Williams on November 18th. That's right. <laughs> Blaze, how are you today? I'm fine. Yourself? Good. Are you excited about this preview and celebration of the upcoming fall season? Oh, very much. I'm more excited about this than I was about Sweeney Todd, You're in Town, Sideshow. More excited about this than I am about any. Well, then this is amazing. Oh, yeah. Now, what is your involvement with the Sheen Center? Are you a part of one of the productions that's upcoming? I am. I've memorized the entire Gospel of John. <laughs> I did this as a prayer, really. But then I, I had it memorized, so I thought, well, I might as well offer this to some churches, so I was just doing it for free. But then the Sheen Center heard of it, and they said, oh, well, we'd like to see it. And so I showed it to Bill Riley and Andrew Levine and David Deserto and Julie O'Brien. And amazing enough, they said, oh, we, we want to produce this. We want to really give this a production. That's so, amazing. So we'll be doing this over the Christmas holidays. I think we open uh, November 30th and run till December 29th. I think that's a perfect time for that, don't Perfect you? time for that. People will really be drawn to that and be drawn to you because they know how brilliant you are. Oh, thanks very much. Sir. Of course. What is it for you when you think of thought and culture with the center? Is that special to you? What, what their mission is and being able to unite people through that? Well, I think of this as being more uh, about prayer. Mm -hmm. um, and that's certainly what the Gospel of John is, yes. you know. Yes. So um, thought and culture, but I, I think uh, prayer is also part of thought and I part think of so. the spirit, you know. Yes. And um, so I think of the Sheen, well, Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen, mm -hmm. he's already been venerated a step toward beatification. You know, right. so um, who knows where where that will lead? You know, I mean, that's what's named after. I'm old enough. I used to watch his show on TV with my parents. Yeah, he was quite the trailblazer. Oh, really, the trailblazer, and what an amazing TV personality. I, I agree. I think he'd be very proud of you. I'm sure he's looking down and smiling right now, oh, knowing so. what you're going to bring to the center. So thank you for today, and oh, we look forward pleasure. to this coming up the end of November into December. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, thank Gene. You. And I am very honored to be standing here with the Executive Director, Mr. Bill Riley. How are you? I'm well, very well. Good to be here, and I'm glad you guys could cover us. Well, thank you. We're really excited about this preview and the celebration of the upcoming fall season, but more importantly, the fact that you are the Executive Director <laughs> nice and what you've had an incredible past as a TV producer for ESPN, 
to more thought and culture based yeah. television, right? Yes. So how did you get involved in becoming a part of this amazing center? Well, it's amazing. I got a call out of the blue um, and right. from David DeCerto, who said, do you know anything about the Sheen Center? It hadn't opened yet. And I looked on this website and said, oh my goodness, look at this facility. And um, I went in and offered them some advice. I thought, you know, free advice is good advice. And a little did I know that 15 minutes into the conversation, um, I said, is this an interview? <laughs> and they said, yeah. And so anyway, the long and the short of it is, I, I have felt like I died and went to heaven and I got this job because it's really a confluence of everything I've done in my life between working in the Broadway theater and the Off-Broadway theater and then in television, which is what Sheen did. And that's one of the reasons I had nothing to do with the, with the construction of this space. But the one thing I did suggest is add the video cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have five cameras in the Loretto Theater. So it's also a broadcast studio. Yeah. So we can do live streaming of our events and concerts and everything else. That's fantastic because really, as we know about Mr. Sheen and you, that brings it all together. Yeah. It, and then being able to promote positivity yes. and thought and culture through so many outlets. Yes. Everything from, if people don't know, everything from theater to film to music to to talk events, which yes. is really what thought comes into. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and you know, what I'm most proud of this year is that the Loretto Theater is now unquestionably established itself as the nicest, newest off-Broadway theater in the city. Um, That's an honor. Yeah, when, when we did our Christmas show, uh, All Is Calm, The Christmas Truce of 1914, just won the Drama Desk Award. And that theater is such a beautiful gem of a little space. And then downstairs in our black box, which is an off-Broadway theater, we had John Glover and a tour of the cast uh, doing all our children. So I think we're, we've arrived, and both of these theaters are now legitimate for the theater community, but equally important for the thought community and for music and for film and for people interested in other genres. We do have an equal mix of theater and music and film and talk. I love that you do that, and congratulations on the recognition. Yeah. It's always nice to feel yeah. validated in that way that you're really appealing to the public and, yeah. and to New York itself. Now, when you, as, as a position of executive director, is it important for you with all of the different ventures and projects that come in, do you have a special board that reviews all of this, or do you have a final say? How does that work? Well, I, I do, but I have a great team. David DeSerto is the director of our program administration. He has two terrific people, Julia O'Brien and, and Victoria Hannigan, who work um, with him. And so among the four of us, we, we, we basically vet all of it. And, um, and then, yeah, I, 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 um, I have to sort of make the final decision, but they do the lion's share of the work. Right, and I read something about you can have up to 75 different projects or shows or productions within one year. Well, actually, on um, actually in this year alone, in both theaters, if you count all the nights we had stuff, we had over 293 wow. um, things going on. That might have been something that I was past reading. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so amazing. It's, and many nights there's something going on in both theaters. And tonight's fact. definitely a preview of more of a kickoff. To when is the actual kickoff to the fall season? Well, I mean, we start in September, mm -hmm. and so that's why we're doing this tonight to give mm -hmm. people. A, and it was interesting when Ken mentioned about the Gospel of John. I'm particularly interested. In it. He was very humble. Because for to play all of the roles in the Gospel of John, one guy doing it and bringing his dramatic skills to it is really what's going to, I think, blow people's minds. Um, whether they're believers or not, it's going to right. be incredible theater. Um, and people will hear the Gospel in a new way that they've never heard it, mainly because he's such a great actor. Right. I think that's truly an honor for him, and I'm thankful for that, and that we encourage everyone to come out for that. So thank you for spending time with us today. Great. Well, terrific. Glad Thanks to for here. all that you do. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.